who's got it better than us? Nobody! Hello and welcome to Wolverine's Weekly. Let's hop right in. As always, I'm your host, Nolan Shelby. Happy to be here with you all. Let's get it going. So, this week, Michigan takes on number 8 Wisconsin. This is no doubt the hardest game we have had to play all season. You see it, not UCF. Um, Colorado punched us in the face. Wisconsin is going to shoot us in the face. <laughs> um, they beat up on Little Brother last week, 30 to 6. Yum! Um, but we beat up on Penn State, 10 to 49. So, yeah, but th this is Penn State. This is Wisconsin. Wisconsin isn't a great team. They isn't. They are. They are a great team. They were completely overlooked. During the preseason, they have just completely shown themselves to be a powerhouse team for this year. I'm a little on edge about it, but um, I'm not too worried. I'm not too worried because the offense isn't all that. It's their defense that is amazing. The defense is right up there with Michigan. So, I mean, we also have a quarterback who's starting his first few games here, and is coming off to an okay start. Which is not the best that we can that we know he can do. Um. If Wilton Spate does, because he's definitely the last two weeks, you can see him starting to click. Especially last week against Penn State, he was really getting in momentum. And if he continues that momentum onto Wisconsin, there is no doubt that he can take care of business against the Badgers. Um, I'm not too worried about a defensive standpoint. They, like I said, the offense is good. It's not great. It's not on terror. It's all on offense, and we have one of the greatest defenses in the country. So I think we're going to take care of them offensively. It's on all sides of the balls that I'm a little bit afraid of. But let's focus on the good. Let's focus on the stats from last week because there were quite a few. Wilton Spate was 21 for 34, 189 yards and a touchdown. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, 21 completions? Well, only out of 34, too. That's not even like, you know, that's a, that's a good number. Uh, Devin Asiasi had a 7-yard touchdown catch. I'm sorry, 7. 3-yard touchdown catch. Uh, his first catch of the season and his first touchdown of his career. So, congrats to you, uh, Asi Asi. You're a great guy. Um, definitely going to do good filling in for Butt when he leaves this year. Uh, no doubt Asi Asi is going to get a lot more playing time once that happens. And seeing how much he's already a great tight end, great blocker, everything, um, just makes me excited for his future. And then, running the ball. Like I said, the past couple weeks, the media's been on Michigan, like, can you run the ball? Can you run the ball? Can you? Why aren't you running the ball? So this is, we, ran, we ran the ball a little bit. Um, Cron Higdon had 9 carries for 81 yards and 2 touchdowns. Uh, Davion Smith had 12 carries for 107 yards and a touchdown. Isaac, Ty Isaac had uh, 11 carries for 7 yards, but a touchdown. I'm sorry. Yeah, 11 carries. Um, Chris Evans had 8 carries for 56 yards and a touchdown. And, of course, my big man, the tank, Glid Hill, had two carries for two yards and a TD. So, I mean, that is, what, one, two, three, four, five different players have rushing touchdowns. We can run the ball! I think I gotta shout that, because I don't know if people understand. Um, also a number four, I completely forgot to mention that. But we can run the ball. We can run. Give us the props. We have amazing running backs. Um... So now, it's question time. Hello and welcome to question time. Let's just hop right on in. I'm going off of Instagram today. T. Rogers 21 asks, is our offense underrated or have we just been playing underrated or just have we been playing really bad defensive teams? We should have been playing bad defensive teams. We're not, we're not underrated at all. We haven't played really any good defensive teams, so... We're really going to get a test this weekend. Um, will Ohio State and Michigan, this is from Lax is Life, will Michigan and Ohio State both be in the top five when we play? Yes. I'm calling it right now. I think it's going to be, we're definitely going to be in the top five. I can't really predict where, but if we beat Wisconsin, Iowa, and Michigan State, we should definitely be in the top five, maybe even top three against Ohio State. Uh, w Smith 24 asks, how do you think the second day performs after Jeremy Clark's season-ending injury? I think we're still going to do good. Um, Jeremy Clark, obviously, nothing but prayers to him and uh, a speedy recovery for him. 
He's going to try to get that sixth season and come back and really make a difference. He's an incredible athlete. Um, so we really do wish him the best. And he was an amazing defender. So, you know, it's going to be hard to kind of find a replacement. But I think we have guys that stepped up when uh, Lewis was out. And now that Lewis is back and Clark is now out, that those guys who are really stepping up and making plays in Lewis's absence is going to step up and make plays in Clark's absence. Um... So that's my take on that. And then, whose defense is most stout, U of M or Wisconsin's? Michigan. Wisconsin has a crazy good defense. Incredibly, like you said, stout. Incredibly just strong and powerful. However, from what I've seen, I haven't seen all the games. I've just watched the Michigan State game. They don't seem to be as fast as Michigan's guys. And what I mean by this is, all linebacker comes in on a blitz. Jabril, and he's wait already at the quarterback. It's like hike up, he's being sacked, and that's coming from the linebacker position. Our safeties are locked down, and they stay with the man on that route. Jordan Lewis shed. Jordan Lewis got blocked and still almost picked the ball last week. So, I think that our defense is more stout. It's just a matter of who's playing harder. So I think that's it for question time. Thank you guys for submitting your questions. I only do a few of these because I get a lot. So. Don't forget, leave those. I post it about usually every Tuesday or Wednesday on my Instagram, so go and check that one out and comment if you have a comment. I think question time fun. I love it. Uh, so, now I'm talking about something not football related, but it is Jumpman and Michigan basketball related. Uh, tonight, Friday night, when you see this, Friday night, sorry for the squeaking. Michigan and Jordan Brand are having the unveil of the Michigan basketball uniforms for women and men's basketball. Now, Jalen Rose is going to be there. He's going to be the MC of ceremonies. Um, the master, cer master of ceremonies of ceremonies. He's going to be the MC of the night. He, obviously, a great Michigan basketball player, great basketball player in general. It's going to be a crazy event. Well, DJ Khaled is going to be the DJ Khaled, yeah. Oh, yeah, DJ Khaled is going to be the I don't even know anymore. DJ Khaled's gonna be the. He's gonna do a musical performance. It said, "I think you can't go anymore." Like I think they shut down like to get tickets and stuff. I'm going. So follow my Snapchat real quick while you're doing this. At U of M Graphics, I'll post a few things on there. Just maybe, just for you, right there, you. Um, I'm gonna post some stuff. I don't even know if I can because you have to fill out a waiver that like is a confidentiality waiver. So. I don't know. But I think it's okay because it's a uniform reveal, you know. It's not like, hey, come and look at this. Um, you do gotta sign that though, so. I don't know. Maybe I will be. Maybe I won't be. So, that's gonna be an absolute blast. Chrysler is gonna be crazy and all of us gonna be crazy. I'm leaving like four hours in advance because I don't know how crazy it's gonna be because it's already sold out. So, it's gonna be a little bit... It's gonna be awesome. I can't wait. Um... And really, that's all I can think of for this week. <laughs> I want to thank you guys for watching. As always, don't forget to hit that like and that subscribe button. Or maybe like this. I don't really know what they are. So thank you again. I just said that. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm completely out of it. I'm so tired. But Michigan, Wisconsin, don't forget about it. As always, I will see you next time. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter on Snapchat. And as always, go blue.